So you've recorded Apple Log and you're wondering how to color grade it. Well today, I'm going to show you how to color grade it within DaVinci Resolve. First, drag and drop your footage on the timeline. Now, once you have it on your timeline, what you're gonna do is go to the color tab. And once you're in the color tab, what you're gonna do first is add another node, hitting Option S. Then you're gonna go to the Effects tab and you're gonna type in Color Space Transform. And here, once you find it, drag it and drop it on the node at the end. Now that you have this set up, we're going to have to convert the colors because Apple Log uses Rec 2020 and its own log curve. So how you do that is you go to the input settings and you scroll down to Rec 2020. Now you can see the colors look a little more realistic, but you can still see the contrast isn't there yet. So what you're gonna do right here, Apple Log. Now you can see it corrected the footage, but as you can also see here, the footage was a little bit underexposed. Now for the outputs, you're gonna put Rec 709 for the color space. In the output gamma, you're going to put gamma 2.4. As you can see, if I turn that off and then I turn it on, you can see it takes this flat profile and it makes it more colorful. But you can also notice it's a little bit underexposed. So how we're going to adjust this is we're gonna come here, we're gonna to go to the HDR tab. And since this footage is Rec 2020, you choose Rec 2020, and for the gamma, you're gonna choose Apple Log. Now that you've chosen that, you can name this Exposure EXP, and for here, I'm gonna put this as 709. But now, once you have the exposure, you're gonna turn this up, and you're gonna look at your graph here, and just get it kind of in the middle where you want it, and that's looking a lot better. Now you can play through this, but you can see it's looking a lot better, but this isn't all. If you just leave it like this, it's going to look kind of crappy if you're doing a film look. So what you're gonna do, add another node and name this contrast. Usually you have to white balance it, but if you're just recording through Apple's app, it white balances it for you. And usually it does a good job, so I'm going to skip that step. But if you wanna learn how to balance, you can watch this video here. Anyway, here, now you can add contrast by turning up this contrast dial. And you can see this looks a lot better. And now we have a nice contrast and I put it up to 1.3 just to make it more contrasty. There's other ways you can add contrast, but this is just the basics of grading Apple Log. So now I'm gonna add another node. And here we can add saturation because you can see it still kind of looks dull. Up the saturation just a little bit. And if I turn that on and off, you can see a lot of the colors are popping through and it looks very beautiful, very detailed. And this you could call like a commercial look. So this would be our commercial look. And we could put these adjustments here, if you go to gallery, right click on this, grab the still, and you can save this still if you like it. But if you wanna get this looking like film, instead what you can do, put the output of the gamma as Cineon film log. Now you can see it just made the colors look way different. And you might be like, whoa, that's like super flat. It almost looks like a Wes Anderson pastel kind of look. And yeah, you could even leave it like this. But if you come down here, go to LUT, Go to Film Looks, and then add Kodak 2383. Here, this would be a film look, and you can turn the contrast off on this one because Kodak 2383 is already very contrasty, and it creates more of an orange teal film look. Put LUT at the end, and you can make small adjustments to make it look more like film. Now there's other things you can do to make this look even more like film. I suggest watching my Super 8 video here. This is just the basics of grading Apple Log. In the future, I plan to go more in depth and really break down how to get the best look with your Apple footage. But for now, this is like the basics of creating a look 